Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics lessons and the first question is what is Leventhal's paradox and you can choose one of these answers. Take a look at this picture. This green ribbon represents a sequence of the amino acids. We have 20 amino acids and here is the paradox itself. Imagine that average protein consists of 300 amino acids or 300 residues and each amino acid has three confirmations. So in this case we are going to get three in a power of 300 different combinations. And if protein is going to fold one variant per second, our whole universe doesn't exist this long just for one protein to be folded in the correct shape. If such folding is going to happen by random, so and would take one confirmation a second. But on the other hand, all our proteins usually folded under one second. Sometimes it only takes few milliseconds, meaning one thousandth of the second. At this point you may say, okay, there have to be some rules which guide the folding of the amino acid sequence and a certain protein shape. But actually the most powerful computers of the world, supercomputers, still cannot predict how protein sequence is going to fold into the protein. And most recent, most advanced computers using artificial intelligence only can predict about 70% correct uh, shape and in some cases up to 90%. So as you see this is not this straightforward process. And you also have to understand that in order to compare computer simulation with actual protein form, we first have to obtain actual form of the protein using crystallography method, which is very complicated process. And by now we just define shape of just small fraction of the proteins that our organisms produce. And we produce over 100,000 different proteins and the aggregation those we have only about 23,000 genes but due to alternative splicing we can get this number of proteins that exceeds substantially exceeds number of genes. And of course you should understand that in order to refine the process of simulation of protein folding we should have this final form first then we can compare how well our computers predict this form. So when we have unknown sequence of the protein, our computers would be better able to predict its folding. So now we can choose the correct answer and as you see the correct answer is answer A. Leventhal's paradox is about the difference between the actual and theoretical times of protein folding. And second question, what is the DNA synthesis using a RNA template? Cold. And you have to choose again one of these answers. Take a look, here is a double stranded DNA and one of the strand is going to be template strand of the DNA in order to make messenger RNA. And then messenger RNA would be used in order to produce protein. This is how it's usually done, but sometimes we have such viruses which we call retroviruses when they enter our cells, they enter in the form of messenger RNA. And then this messenger RNA would be used in order to make second strand of the DNA. So this is going to be a hybrid messenger RNA and one DNA strand. Then messenger RNA would be degraded and second complementary strand of the DNA would be built. And then this fragment of the double-stranded DNA would be integrated in our genome and would be would take a place somewhere say here. So this is something what we can say reverse to the normal process when DNA is used in order to make messenger RNA. Here we first see messenger RNA that is used in order to make double-stranded DNA which is going to be later integrated in our genome or genome of the eukaryotes or prokaryotes. And this process 
is possible because retroviruses bring with them enzymes which are called reverse transcriptase and the whole process is called reverse transcription and as you see this is answer B. This process is called reverse transcription because it goes in the opposite direction to what normally we can see in eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.